everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to do a very quick and like simple video of what is in my makeup bag. So I haven't done one of these either ever or I haven't done it in a very very long time. I was looking through my videos and I went back like 18 months and I haven't seen one there. So I either filmed it and never uploaded it or something. I know I've done one. So basically I'm going to show you an updated video of what I take traveling with me. Everything in here basically changes nearly every year when I find new techniques or new products that I like or things like that. I think obviously every time it changes and I don't always take the exact same things. Lip products is the one thing that changes and also mascara depending on what I have opened. So some of these things in here do change around depending on the season or where I'm going, things like that. But generally these are the things that I'm taking. So let's just jump straight into it. So this is my bag. This is a NYX makeup bag. Basically about four or five years ago I was walking through Target where they sell all our NYX stuff and they had a um, like box set, it was near Christmas time and it had the makeup bag, it came with a lipstick which is actually at my dad's, it came with the dusk, one of the dusk till dawn palettes, a mascara, an eyeliner and one of the butter glosses so basically it was this with a couple of things in it. Uh, the mascara I absolutely hated and everything else I still have so yeah but this has basically been the makeup bag i used all the time i've still i've got other bags i will use but this is the one i usually use for makeup uh just because i always have i don't tend to take hundreds and thousands worth of stuff um and this bag i've had it for four years it's a little bit dirty but it is still going perfectly strong so the first thing, this is one of the highlighters that basically comes with me everywhere. It is the Anastasia Highlighter in Starlight. Now, if I'm going to my dad's, I have highlighter palettes and things there. This is if I'm traveling outside of going to my dad's. So this is the highlighter that comes with me. It's the highlighter I'm wearing today. And basically the reason why I take this with me is it goes with everything. I know it works on my skin. I know it looks beautiful. And because it's basically white, it goes with anything. So it's not like I'm having to worry about it being gold tone or whatever. Um, I love this. It's probably my most used highlight. Uh, and I absolutely love it. So like I mentioned, it's the highlighter I got on my face today. It's all that glow that you can see on my skin. Um, and yeah, it's just my go-to highlighter because I know that no matter what I'm doing, natural look or very super bold glam or sort of everyday what I've got now, it goes with everything. I have my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. This is my favorite color, but I always take a Maybelline Color Tattoo no matter what. If I don't know what color to take, I will take this one. If I have a specific look in mind, I will add a couple of the others if I think I might need it. So for example, if I know oh, I want to do a purple look or something like that, I'll add a different color. But generally, I pretty much only take this one because I use this as a base underneath a lot of things. Um, I sometimes even just use this on its own on my lid. I've got it on today, but I've got um, a shadow over the top. Um, but I just take this one. I haven't put the other colors in here because like I mentioned, some things change, some things don't. This is the one I always take because I love it. And sometimes I will use it and put the highlighter over the top and it just looks gorgeous. To go over the top of that Maybelline color tattoo, I have my Chi Chi Baked Eyeshadow in Call Me. This is also what I'm wearing right now. Basically, I take these because I love doing a champagne eye, basically like what I have on right now. I can make it look super glam, like it's for a formal. I can make it look super messy and everyday, or I can make it almost look like a no makeup look as well. So it's basically my go-to eye look. It always has been basically like a neutral brown champagne color. That's been my go-to look for years. And this has been my go-to shadow for years. I don't need to wet this if I put it with the Maybelline color tattoo. It's shimmery enough on its own. So I don't need to worry about having to take a setting spray. I don't believe in setting spray so that it just takes, it just takes an extra step out of my day. Um, the single eyeshadow doesn't take up much space and it's a gorgeous color. I have my Davis waterproof eyeliner pencil. This is the one I'm using right now. I either use this one or the Rimmel Coal eyeliner. This is the one I'm enjoying right now, so this is the one I'm using. But I basically don't use any other eyeliner color other than black. Occasionally, I will put in a gold 
or things like that. I've got a red. I like, I've got every colour under the sun. But if I know I'm going to be wanting a colour, I will put a colour in. But generally, I use just black. So this is the one I'm using and enjoying right now. If not, it's my Rimmel Coal one. So they swap out, but they're both black. They're both gel liners. And this just goes on my waterline. I have my Tube of Benefex Pore Pore Cream in here because this is my all-time favourite lip balm. Sometimes I use it on the sides of my nose if they are extremely dry, or I even use this on my eyelashes if I've been using a hell of a lot of mascara lately, or if I've been wearing falsies a lot or something like that. It's really nice. I just put the tiniest bit in between my fingers and like rub it on my lashes once I've done all my like skincare for the night, and it works really well. But basically, this is my go-to lip balm, and as I've explained before, I literally don't go anywhere without this. I always chuck in my e.l.f. matte lip colour in natural just because it goes with nearly anything. Sometimes I wear it, sometimes I don't. I just chuck it in because it's a go-to colour. I will take my Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzer in medium matte with me because A, it's more affordable. So if I drop this or smash this or something, it's not going to be as much of a loss if I smash my like $60 NARS bronzer or my $50 um, Too Faced one, but also this bronzer as well, I can make it look really natural or I can make it look really super intense if I'm doing a full glam look. So what I really like to do is this also goes in my crease of my eye with my little champagne colours. So I tend to not really take eyeshadows when I'm travelling, I multi-use products. So I will use this in my crease um, as my transition shade or darker, things like that. Um, and that will be part of my eyeshadow as well. That's why I take a matte bronzer because I use it on my eyes. Nowadays, I take this little um, Lacura Beauty Bronzing Pearls container with some translucent powder in it because I bake my face. So this is just the, the container I use to put my powder in. I actually use talc powder at the moment because I haven't found a translucent powder that I like. I know it's super bad, but basically they come in giant containers. So I put it in a little one like this just so I can use it and things like that. Um, but yeah, I will take a translucent powder with me um, because I bake. So along with baking, I actually bought these little mini um, foundation sponges on Wish and I have the purple one. I was using the purple one here, but basically it comes with the orange one that looks like the Real Technique sponge. It has a purple one that's just your regular beauty blender shape and there's a blue one that's like your little what I call your snowman shape. And these are not really nice to use with your foundation. They are too dense, they are too stiff, they're not nice for that. But basically if I wet it, it makes it slightly, slightly squishier. And these are really, really good for baking. So I find too, once I'm done, I can squeeze it and I can wash it, it can dry and things like that, as opposed to the flat um, sponges I was using that come with your powder. This I can wash it. Um, and they are really small as well, so they don't take up too much room in my bag. I really am only using these at the moment because I bought them and I don't like them for foundation. But once they're all gone, I don't know if I'll repurchase them. But basically, I used the purple one today. It was amazing for baking, so I'm just taking these with me when I travel. I take my e.l.f. brow kit with me rather than a pencil. I know a pencil would be more travel friendly, but when I am traveling and I want to put makeup on, I want to do what's comfortable for me. So if I'm in an unfamiliar environment or something like that, or if I'm going somewhere for the first time, I want to basically make myself look as presentable as possible. Now I've got the brow pencil on my brows today, but it took me so much longer to do it. So I take the brow kit because it's so much easier for me to use. It's a lot quicker. And I find that I sometimes don't even need to touch up my brows with concealer when I use this. So that is why I take it with me. The color matches me slightly better. And I also use the powder for my eyeshadow. So I will use the Sun Shimmer Bronzer sort of as a transition shade. I will deepen it up with the little bit of the powder here. Sometimes I will just use the powder in this. That way I use the powder as well as the gel. I tend to use the gel up before I finish the powder. That way I'm getting multi-use of products as well. Blush everywhere I go, I take this Rimmel blush. This is in Pink Rose. Basically the reason why I take this is it is so small, so it doesn't take up much room, but it's basically one of those blushes that goes with anything. If you look at the colour, it doesn't look very special. It doesn't look 
you know, like the best blush in the world, but it is such a gorgeous colour. It just blends on the face beautifully. It has the most gorgeous, like, soft glow. And like I mentioned, the colour goes with anything. So I can wear this with a no makeup look. I can wear it with a natural everyday glam. I can wear it when I am, like, full on formal glam, things like that. So for concealer, I take my Focalore Big Cover because it's one of the only concealers that even just attempts to cover anything that I have. My MAC Pro Longwear is good, but sometimes the colour of that um, does change or it's just not as brightening so I tend to take this with me because like I mentioned it's one of the only concealers that covers even the slightest. So I take my mascaras, I tend to have two open at once so the ones I have open now are the Urban Decay Perversion and my Lacura Aldi Mineral Mascara. So these are the ones I take with me which is quite nice. I love this combo, I've been wearing it a lot. I can also use this one on its own if I'm doing an extremely natural look because this is an extremely natural looking mascara on your upper lashes in particular. So I actually really like these. I'll put this one on my upper lashes and then I'll grab this and put it on my lower lashes. By that time the Urban Decay one has set a little bit and then I'll grab this one as well and put it on my upper lashes and it really separates them and makes them look a little bit more natural. So I really like this combo. It's not the most... Um, Bold. So if I decided to do big thick wing liner, it's not going to be the best combo, but these are just the ones I have open at the moment. With my brows, I've got the Astralis Hold Em Up Brow Gel. I tend to not really need brow gel, but I think, like I've mentioned several times, I bought this thinking it was a mascara, I was going to give it to my mum, and then it's a brow gel, and I couldn't uh, like bring myself to throw it away, so I thought I would just use it. So it's a really nice product, and it works really well, but um, I don't need brow gel, but... I, take, I just take this because I bought it. For the foundation, I take the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. If I am darker, I tend to take my Estee Lauder Double Wear as well. So the Estee Lauder one, I will mix in with this as well if I'm slightly darker or I'll wear it on its own because that lasts the best on me. But for when I'm extremely fair, because Estee Lauder doesn't match me when I'm this shade. This is the best option for me because I bake um, or I can mix in some of the Estee Lauder Double Wear with this and it'll be a lot more matte but basically this is the best foundation I have found that um, lasts on my skin when I bake apart from Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I can make this last a solid eight to nine, eight hours or something like that when I bake now. I can take some powder and touch up but I mean if I'm traveling really I'm only going to wear makeup if we're going to like out for dinner or something and that's only two to three hours so I can make this last a lot longer on my skin I can make this look really natural I can make it look like everyday glam and I can keep building up the coverage and add some more concealer and I can make it look full glam as well so that's what I really like about this the only downside is this does have quite a flashback I can't find anywhere if it says this has sunscreen in it SPF um, and the color matches me pretty perfectly so it's not like it's too pale but this has a pretty horrendous flashback so if you're taking photos or going somewhere taking photos don't take this because it's spring at the moment or now it's spring this is basically the combo I take everywhere when it is spring um, like I mentioned lip colors do tend to change depending on the season or where I'm going um, things like that but I always take a coral with me in the spring and summer so I take the elf matte lip color in coral and then I will put over the top sometimes I don't sometimes I do but I will take the Lacura Beauty Volume Lip Lacquer in Apricot and this is just an amazing combo. This is a really pigmented lip gloss um, and it's really like plumping and it is really volumizing. It smells amazing. It's not sticky. It's super buttery and creamy. It's not one of those ones where you get all the strings when you open your mouth. It's a really, really nice formula and I use the crap out of this every single spring. And then like I mentioned for the e.l.f. matte lip color in coral, these are my favorite ones. Like I would take every, every single color of these everywhere I go if I could. Um, but these are my favorite formulas of all time and the color is gorgeous. I find though I tend to only wear that combo when I'm fair. I don't like that color, that color range on the coral color on me when I'm tan. For a liquid liner I take the designer brands absolute liquid liner because it is my favorite and it's also pretty much the only one that I own. So this is in black like I mentioned I keep wanting to try the brown one but every time I go to buy it it's sold out. But this is my favorite liquid eyeliner. Super easy to use. It's just a pen. You just take the lid off and you use it. Um, so yeah.
this is my favorite one that I've ever used so far, so that's why I take it with me. I have a really nice lip color combo here that I have been enjoying, and it is one of the lip liner lip pencils from Wish. It's one of these little black gel lip liners. It's basically like a darker nude almost. Um, brown, slightly more orangey-ish, slightly more warm. It's not really warm, but it's slightly warmer. And so I line my lips with that. And then over the top, I use this Essence lipstick in its nude time. And this is almost just a flat out white. It's really um, gross at the moment, but it's almost just a flat out white. And I really like this for lightening nude lipsticks. I know a lot of people really like using white, but I find that tends to create like almost a gray tone on my lips for some reason. No matter what lip liner, no matter what lipstick I'm mixing it with, it looks kind of gray with a white. So that's why I bought this because it's not white. It's got a definite like yellowy skin tone. I could probably use this as a concealer type of color. Um, but oh yeah, I find this doesn't give me that weird grey tone and I actually really like the formula of these. I always just chuck in these two little Savvy um, by Designer Brands lip glosses because they are um, just staples in my collection. One's a slightly more nudie pink, one's a more beige pink, but basically these are two of my favourite nude lip colours. And last but not least, I will use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is my favourite eye primer of life. So that is why I take this all the time. Um, it's just yeah, gen it's just an eye primer, so that is why I take it with me. And yeah, my bag is empty. I don't take a primer with me just because I don't always like primer. I don't always think it works really well. My skin is so oily anyway that once I use this foundation and I bake, after about an hour, everything starts to melt in together and it looks really nice and skin-like anyway and tends to last pretty well on my face. So that is why I don't take a primer. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I actually don't usually end up using it. So like I use the Stila One Step Correct Primer today and I feel like I might go a little bit oily a little bit quicker, but I still have my foundation on and my makeup on for like two and a half hours and it's still fine. So normally by now I'd be beginning to go oily with that foundation. So if I decide that I don't want to take if I don't want to use my blush, bronzer, and highlighter stuff on my eyes, I will take a palette. Usually the palette that I take is just my Kat Von D shade light palette because I then have my little shimmery shade and things like that to go with it so I can make it look a little bit more glam. But I mean, I can make it look cool toned. I can do fully matte eyes. This shade mixed with the, either of the white tones is really nice on my inner corner. Um, this is basically my go-to palette. So if I decide to travel with a big palette, this is the one that I take. I know it's not the best because it's quite big um, and slightly heavy, but this is just my go-to palette and I can guarantee that every time I use this, I like the look I come up with. So I can do something that's really warm toned. I can do it that's really, really uh, cool toned. I can do neutrals. It's got a black that I can use for eyeliner like I have today. Um, it's got a red shade if I want to do like slightly more colorful, if that makes sense. Um, but I just really, really like this palette. So I will tend to chuck everything in the bag, take this with me and I'm good to go. So that was a little bit of a rambly story on what I take in my makeup bag. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I actually enjoy pulling some of the products out and things like that um, because a few years ago some of these products were not even in my collection, let alone staples I would take with me. So yeah, actually a few years ago none of these products were staples in my collection. Really apart from the Maybelline foundation, none of these things were in my life. Maybe the e.l.f. brow kit was, but I was using my Aldi pencil because my hair was really orange and this is like brown. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. The products that I mentioned will be in the description box down below as well as my social media sites. So hit the subscribe button that's in the corner down there and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!